thing. So to start off, I have um, two static final variables um, because they will be the same throughout the entire code. In my main, I have my greeting, I have my print greeting, um, and then I have my array that will um, show the size of the array, which is always eight, or the size of the board, which will always be eight by eight. Um, and then I initialize the board in a method that I'll explain a little bit later. Um, I have my turn counter and um, I print my board and this is where um, the program will tell the user which player's turn it is. So if the modulus 2 equals 1, then it's player 1. If the modulus 2 equals 0, then it's player 2. Um, and here is where I will tell the user to enter a number in my input validation. So if the number is between 1 and 8, um, it will allow the user to um, enter a token into that column. Or if it is a number, it cannot be a letter. And then here is where um, I use a method check open player R and check open player B to find an open space. Uh, for each token and put replace that token replace that open space with that token and then I increase my turn counter so the game will keep moving um, in my checking checking win uh, method um, I have three different cases that could be returned so R B or T so R is if player one wins B if if, if player two wins and T if it is a tie if there is no other way or spaces that um, will allow the user to win, either user to win. Um, for my greeting, I print um, my prompt, and then I have um, where I print my board. I initialize my board, so I tell um, the program which um, what spaces are what. I have my check open player R and check open player B, um, and it will replace the, the, the spot with a B or an R if that spot is open. And then for my checking win, I have all the different ways that a user could win. So um, checking for win in rows for R, rows for B, um, and then I increase the win counter, uh, which will count up the number of spaces in a row that they have. If not, it will equal zero, start them over. And if they um, have four in a row, if it detects that they have four in a row, then it will return an R, which then later will go to my switch and tell them that they have won. And that is the same for, um, for B, and then for columns for R and for B. And then for a diagonal, um, it is pretty much the same, except that I... Um, have to count specific spaces. So if it equals four, it is um, R. If not, it equals zero. It'll start them over. Um, so for diagonal left to right up, right to left up, left to down, or left to right down, and then right to left down. And then if this will find an open space um, and will increase the win counter. And if the win counter equals zero, um, in the end, if all spaces are gone, then the return will be a T, which equals tie. And if um, there is still room for someone to win, it will, will, it will return an N. All right, so for input validation, if I put an A or B, it won't work. If I put zero or nine, it will not work. So let's do two. All right, so player one wins for, and that's a vertical win. Do a horizontal. All right, player one wins again. So I'll do a vertical from left to right.
So play your two wins in a diagonal in this way, and I'll do a diagonal the other way here quick. So player two wins in that way too.